In a few short months, we'll be coming up on the one-year anniversary of my small business baby, Sweet Masonry. It's been such a journey, and from getting the keys to this office, to decorating the space, to selling beautiful home decor products, it's been an absolute joy. In today's video, I am going to take you further behind the scenes and share with you a few secret tips that I do to help my business be successful. If you'd like to see all those things, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we have a small business vlog. Right now, I'm on a little time crunch and I'm trying to hurry up and shoot all of the summer inventory that will be going live. By the time you're seeing this video, the summer inventory is already out, so go ahead and shop, which is really exciting. But I have to get a lot of things photographed really quick, especially like a lot of our new summer pop pieces for the website. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna steam this um, dish towel really quick, which is so cute. Love her so much. And let me see, I don't have a tripod right here. I know I have things in the sink. This is the true behind the scenes because I wanted this to be like clear, but I am gonna put some more props over there. But yeah, so I'm gonna prop y'all up right there while I steam this. And you can quench this fire, no. Oh, that looks so much better because these had some severe wrinkles. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot it like this. I love hanging dish towels from a hook in the kitchen. And then let's add some props right over here in this area. So I'm thinking I'll do this over here in the corner. So we will just slide her back here and then put the mugs on the hooks like that. And then maybe another one right here. And then let me see, let me get two more. And then this one right here, so like that. I think that's cute. And then to shoot everything, I use my iPhone. So I just open her up and then I have it where you can see like the grids because that helps me make sure that the image is centered. These are just little tips that I've learned, but you know, take it with a grain of salt, okay? So then I like to go in and brighten up my photo. So basically you tap on whatever it is you're like taking a picture of and then the little sun icon will pop up and you can slide that up and down like to get the image more low light, but it's still focusing on that dish towel or I can make it as bright as I want. And I usually tend to go to like the brighter side of things. And this is just one round of what I do from the straight iPhone. And then I'll pop the images into Lightroom and I'll show you guys how I do that later. But yeah, this is just regular iPhone camera pictures and that's always <laughs> what I've ever used for my website photos. So let's go ahead and get to snapping. Like for this item, not really feeling those props in the back. So I think I'm gonna switch it up and put like some lemon scents and see how that looks or some like dainty flowers. So on my way to go and actually get the flowers that I was talking about, I thought about these two pieces. So this is of course a little scale. And then we have a basket full of lemons. I actually use this for spring decor, but I'm thinking might be cute we put this in the corner like that right right and this has a little pink in it and then this has like red so the red and pink kind of go together and then we fill this up with lemons at the top like that 
I think that's our picture. That looks so cute. And even in Photoshop later or on my editing app, I can turn this to pink, this big red thing, so it doesn't stand out as much. And then if I don't like these, then I will put it in the basket or try the um, floral stems. But I think that looks really cute. Only thing right now that I'm looking at, the lemons look really, really like on here. What I love about this dish towel is that it's pretty muted with the colors. So the lemons back there, they look really bright, but I might be able to tone those down with editing as well because we want this to pop the most. So let's shoot. All right, this is how, this is how those came out with like no edit so far. <laughs> delete okay and I have to get a picture of the hook on here so I think that looks pretty good let me turn my brightness all the way up I think that looks pretty pretty good I need to see though like do this with stems and see if that looks better or like a dainty flower just to make sure we have options now that I know like what the lemons look like so I'm gonna go grab some stems so these are the stems I'm thinking about using right now. I feel like these could be really pretty paired with the dish towel. Like, like they look really good together. So I have this um, picture right here, which is actually a sweet masonry picture, but well, it was going to be. However, things did not work out. So I'm going to switch these take these right here which i love we probably will shoot with these later on when we're doing another pot piece and i'm gonna add in some of these stems let's add in a few more for a really pretty summer vibe i wish i had some pink flowers or something but i don't all i have are like neutral flowers and stuff Instead. Okay. Okay, cutie. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for the time being. And let's slide this baby back here into position. Okay, I feel like that looks really good you guys take your look that looks better to me so let's shoot That'll probably be the cover photo. I like to post ones like these, like far away shots for the Instagram. All right, got it, and that one's done. So I have one more dishcloth to do, and it's this one with the pomegranates and cherries. Okay, you guys, before we go any further along in today's video, I do wanna thank Fiverr so much for sponsoring. You guys, I absolutely love Fiverr and I've used them so many times over the course of my small business journey. If you somehow haven't heard of them, Fiverr is a website that you can visit to connect with many different freelancers that offer digital services. So if you're a small business owner and you need help with creating your logo or you need help making an ad or let's say you're a YouTuber like me and you need someone who can help you edit your videos or edit your TikToks because you simply don't have the time to do it or you don't wanna do it, right? So I love that aspect of it. Any digital thing you need, you pretty much can find it on Fiverr. So in my case, I really want the Sweet Main Street name to get out there a whole lot more, especially for people who don't know me, they probably have never heard of Sweet Masonry. So I needed help with my SEO on my website and that's what my freelancer helped me with. 
just so I could have a better chance of popping up on the search results in Google if people are looking for home decor, if people are looking for fall decor, seasonal decor. I would love for Sweet Mains for me to pop up along people's search. So my freelancer was able to help me figure out how we can optimize my site to do that. So we had to do different things like adding extra descriptions underneath the products and also adding better definitions on the back end so people in Google can recognize that my store is all about home decor. When I came to working with my freelancer, he was very efficient, very thorough. From the get-go, he reached out to me wanting to know exactly what I needed help with, what my priorities were, and what was most important to me in my business. So you guys can check out Fiverr by heading to fiverr.co slash younglady-business to check out the services that are available to you. And please be sure to use my promo code younglady-business to help you save 10% off. Thank you so much Fiverr for sponsoring today's video and now y'all let's get right back into the content. Alright y'all so this is the next item I'm shooting and I decided to break out the scale again. Since I didn't like it in the last one I figured we could do it with this one. I just need to take these stickers off. And um, cause this has like a little green in it, like a lime color and a darker green. I need to take off the stickers. Okay you know what? Just turn them around so no one can see the stickies. Okay, I feel like that's cute. Alright, the balls, which are so summery and cute. So we have the grapefruit. And we have the orange, and we have the lime, lemon and lime. Are you going back and forth? I can't keep up with your mood swings. What is trouble in your mind? Oh, you do it. Oh, these are so cute. These are so cute, you guys. Take a look at how those just turned out. Wrong way. That one, I love that one for the Instagram. Okay. So I got some from the top view, but I wanna like show off the sides of these. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to show off the sides. <laughs> you know, pop them up. Pop them up really. Do something like this. But that's not showcasing the sides. That's really what I want to be show like want to showcase right now. So maybe oh yeah, that looks cute. Okay, I think I got it, you guys. And then now I want to put back up the orange dish towel and then do a little bit more like content shots, a few more content shots with it. Oh, it's so cutie. Like that, that looks good. Like that, just effortless. Oh. And then some lemons in here. Like they're in the back, just like fruit overload. I even have an orange, but it might be a little too much. Don't know. Let me get a real lemon and put it in the middle. Okay. Okay, that's adorbs. You guys can't see like mess with this over here I don't have my tripod right now so that's why I'm like moving you guys everywhere and then let's get the bowls in the shot and the lemons and stuff in the background oh my gosh okay this does not look good from that angle it's too frumpy there we go one more night, one more night I want a place to fool Everyone that is alright 
me show you. So this is how they're turning out. The ones I just did over there. Oh, so, so cutie. So this is another thing I need to photograph. This is really beautiful stoneware pleated cup. It's huge. And when I described it to you guys, I talked about how you can put your smoothies in here, your matches and things like that. Let me show you what these came out. I'm not really sure about them yet. Inside the cup. Oh, looks good. Yeah. So, hmm. That one I'm not too sure about. And then later on tonight, I will show you guys how I put these in Lightroom and I edit them. That's what we'll do tonight. So, I'm on my laptop and I use these two apps. I use Lightroom and I use this one called Preview. So this is the Preview app and on here it basically like simulates your Instagram page. So of course we're on the Sweet Masonry Instagram and I can like just upload so many pictures and see what they'll look like before I actually post them. So I'm gonna delete all of these because these are ones that I played around with before. And you see the ones that have the Instagram icon next to it are ones that have actually been published. So I'm going to delete all of these that I just kind of like was playing around with back when we were doing the spring collection. And then we can start editing photos. But now that we have the Instagram the way that it looks in real life, I'm going to exit out of that and here I am in Lightroom and as you can see I have like all the pictures that I've ever edited here for our drop. So here on Lightroom I'm just gonna click add photos and then I just airdrop these three to myself. These are the ones that we just took a little bit earlier in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna highlight these and then click review for import. Now they'll pop up here in Lightroom and then I'm just going to go ahead and add three photos. Now um, in terms of using Lightroom, I'm trying to remember if it's free or not. So anyways, now my three images are uploaded and these are the three that I want to post on Instagram as like a carousel. So this probably will be my cover photo and this be the second photo and that be the third. Or this could be the first one, I'm not sure yet. But regardless, we have to go ahead and edit this. So I have a whole bunch of presets on here, right over here on this side, presets. And then here they are right here. I bought these off of Etsy, I believe. And then these just kind of like, you see as I go through, the image changes a little bit. And you kind of like just pick whichever one looks good for your photo. So for me, this is what it looks like normally. I want it to look really just, just a little bit brighter and want the colors to pop a little bit more. So I usually like boutique number nine. That's one of my favorites. You guys hopefully can see the difference. Before, after, before, after and it looks better in real life the camera is washing it out so now that I am done like editing the pictures we can go ahead and export them and so I always export them as JPEG large and then I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call this one summer collection Photos. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Folios. Okay. Create. Okay. And then let's export those babies there. So while those are exporting there, you can see like the little bar down here. Okay, it's done. Now I can go to my preview app and we can add these photos in here. All right, so now I am going to, I'm not going to click on all of them, but I'm going to go ahead and upload this one since I think this is what will be my cover. And there you have it. That's what it'll, these two will look like next to each other. And so now I'm going to upload another one, edit another picture, 
on a Lightroom. Lightroom? You, honestly, if you want to, you could just add all these photos at once, but I don't like to do that. But of course, that is something that you can do just to make it easier on yourself. Just add every single photo you've taken and put it up here. Okay, so now that it's on here, again, same exact process. I'm using my presets, which are under the edit column, this one right here. And I am going ahead, picking which edit I like, number nine. Again, still looks really good and fresh. So this is before. So this is with number nine. This is without it with number nine it looks better in person y'all alrighty so now they look really crisp really professional so I've gone ahead and exported the pictures of the dish towel and now I'm about to add them into the preview app so you just click the plus find the pictures wherever they are on your device and then instead of clicking on all of them I just click on the cover photo because if you click on all of them it'll create several different pictures and Perfect. So now it just gives me an idea to see like, okay, this is what we're looking like. Okay. So I can keep going with adding pictures and seeing what the feed will look like because we, I really want the feed for Sweet Masonry to be aesthetic, which is the whole reason why I do all of this. I just want everything to look super duper good. Hey y'all, so I'm here in the office as you can see. And one of the things that I have to do before everything launches is weigh all the items so the shipping and all that can be correct for you guys. So I just bring the items over here. And this is the little scale that I use from Dynamo. Luckily, none of my items are ever over five pounds because that is the cap on this scale. Um, and I got it from Target, so I'll have it linked down below or something similar. So, um, so yeah, like this item, for example, I'm going to put it down here and see how much it weighs. So you can see here it's one pound, zero, zero point four ounces. And then I'm just like marking that here on my little sheet. I just went ahead and like previewed the fall slash Halloween collection and it's looking really really good but there are some like items that we will need we don't have um, a lot of these little postcards especially within the fall colorway nor the tape in the fall colorway so um, I need to order these are just all like marketing materials that we need to go in you guys' order. So gotta do all of that. And then another thing I need to do is check on my inventory. Spending the days on my own, then repeats this for weeks to come. I don't care. So you're actually just gonna do just like a strictly Halloween collection, but I know a lot of you guys don't do Halloween, so we are going to do it kind of like how we did it last year where we do Halloween and a pre-fall. So those of you who do like fall, there's some items for you guys to shop um, during this drop. So yeah, I'm really excited about that and we're adding a lot of stuff in. And I think it's gonna, like I'm looking at it right now, it's gonna be so cute, you guys. I really can't wait for y'all to see it. Um, and you will see it like in the next month or so. Cause like we wanna release Halloween and fall like late July, early August. That is the goal. All right y'all, so back home now and I'm getting ready to shoot the picture. 
So I went ahead and cut up like all my little citrusy fruits and cut them into fine little slices so I can use these to like style the picture. So let's go ahead and put her together and shoot it. Okay, so this is what we have right now. I think that looks good. I wish the glasses that we had to come go with this collection came because it would be really pretty to have the cups right here. Now the lemons, they aren't like, I want them to be down like this, you know? But they aren't doing that. Goodbye is the one thing on my mind. It took days to finally start writing songs. Now it's begun. I go Hey y'all, another photo shoot day. I'm about to go ahead and shoot a really cute art marker. So I went outside and got her rosemary, stuck it in there. She looks really cute. Here are a few of the other um, herbs that we have. Right here, basil, oregano, thyme, lavender, all of that. So I'm gonna shoot these as well. And I kinda wanna shoot them with the ribbon on them. And then I'm gonna be using this as a prop, which is like a little gardening shovel. So I just need to take this off right here, this little clear piece. Okay, so I'm gonna try to set the scene right here. I think I want these to be like, this to be like that, that right here in the back and these and then have like maybe that down or something I think that's cute and then these out of the way so yeah I think something like this would be cute for the photo shoot and I'll just have to move this and that out of the way and I'll pop up what the picture looks like All right, y'all, so it is launch day. It's Sunday, May 28th at 3 o'clock p.m. We just got off live with you guys. And here is what the website looks like. So these are all the graphics I created yesterday using Canva. So that's what they look like. Yep, and then here are our new items for springtime. They look so good. We adore decor, love that. Sama is here, and I love that when you click on our images, it shows you a different image. I just love that so much. Find us on Insta. And also, one other thing I did today was, oops, not that. I wanna go to our Instagram. I've been like promoting, promoting, promoting my business so much today in the last few days. So, this morning I posted this picture, and this morning I posted this picture. So these two are new, but these three are from yesterday. I try to post like three pictures a day at least. But I just posted a reel, because I always like to do one of those. They really like boost the traffic to your page or whatever. Reels pop up more often than pictures do. So that's another little tip. I always do a reel when we drop the summer or any collection and I am gonna like it and I'm gonna share it if I can on here share to okay yeah I gotta do it from my phone but yeah everything is up and live the store is open to everyone which is really great and hopefully some orders will start coming in soon and another tip for our graphics a lot of you guys ask about these so I actually ordered this template on what was it Etsy so I didn't make all of this myself but the pictures of course I take myself and I change up the fonts and the colors and stuff to match the theme of whatever the collection is can I'll link down the Etsy seller who like sells these type of Shopify designs and you can look on there's a whole bunch on Etsy. There's a whole bunch of designs that you guys can get on Etsy for your website. You can have someone who will design your whole website for you. But um, in my case, I just got a template. 
All right, you guys, so it is the same day as the launch and we are here in the office getting ready to go ahead and package up y'all's orders. We're doing, we've never done it like this before where we drop on the same day, we're packing on the same day. Um, but the reason we're doing that is because Marcus and I are going on a really fun camping trip tomorrow. So we won't be here tomorrow or the next day to pack y'all's orders. And we have a two day processing time. So we gotta start today. But we decided to go ahead and just print out half of the orders and get those out. So there's a lot of you who ordered like as soon as three o'clock hit, which is really exciting. The bowls are gone at this point. The ceramic spoons are gone. Um, what else the coasters like the square coasters are gone the antique stand is gone the pictures are gone the cups are gone we have one of these remaining we have a lot of these left the um, blanket so if you're still watching this and you want to grab one please do um, the spoons the bowls are gone the earth markers we still have the fruity dish towels left they're all gone out of the orange colorway, but we have them available in the cherry colorway and the lemon lime colorway. Um, the, the vase is still available. This is sold out. The pitcher, the cup is sold out. The spring measuring, or like I call them spring because they came out in spring, but the measuring cup set is gone. The pot holders are gone. And the square coasters are gone we still have the round ones succulents and the sand are gone so that's what we have available at this time i'm so happy so let's go ahead and let's get to packing Okay, so here is the first order that came in and it is from Miss Andrea and she ordered the measuring cup set and the square cotton coasters in white. So I'm going to grab those things and package them up. Just want your time
Hey y'all, so it's another day in the office. Marcus and I are here and I am about to go ahead and start packing up the second half of the order. So I took them, the ones that we had packed up previously, to UPS and USPS earlier today. Um, so that's all done. If you are a business owner, fun fact, I didn't know this, but if you're selling or like shipping merchandise, UPS, even though it says on the website that they will, they will not accept USPS packages. They can basically choose whether or not to take your package. So everywhere I go, they won't accept it. So I always gotta make two stops. But what I need to do is start scheduling deliveries. However, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, like today, we're doing it today. We probably could have scheduled something to pick it up tomorrow. You know, that's something I need to get on because it is a lot of packages. Like, so right now for our second round, we're gonna go ahead and pack up 20 orders. And for the first round yesterday, we packed 17 orders. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get these situated we try not to do too much at one time because it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of time to pack up everything oh man i should have ordered some more sleeves for my packing slips but basically on shopify all you do is just print out the shipping label and then you also well i also like to print out the packing slips so we know like what to put in it and as i go i check through it and sometimes I write little notes on you guys' things, especially for the people who ordered like really quickly. After we launch, I write like little notes and stuff just saying thank you. But it's been a few days since the launch and orders are still coming in. So that makes me super duper happy. I do want to know, however, if you guys do want a, um, if you guys would like a restock. And if you would like a restock, like for example, the bowls or something that's like a high demand item and the spoons, I believe. I saw a lot of people requesting those. I think I had two or three people request the picture, but there might be more of a demand and people just aren't expressing it. So please let me know because it'll help me figure out how much to order. Another one of my subbies yesterday commented on the video and she was like, Kayla, please think about doing a notification button. So when the item is out of stock, you can see like how many people have been, or how many people are interested in the item because they've gone to the website, they went to the page, they put in their email, they click notify, like those will be serious people who would possibly want to get the item when it comes back in stock because they're okay with the price. They like the quality like and they want it they want to get it i was like that's such a good idea i don't even know if i have the capabilities to do something like that on shopify but i'm totally gonna look into it and so i really appreciate when you guys leave me suggestions like that because sometimes i don't be thinking about that type of stuff and it's such a good idea it's such a good idea so yeah i'm going to do that but it's kind of late to do it now <laughs> um not too late but a lot of the traffic comes to our site on launch days and then it of course it slowly dwindles down because there's not any new inventory coming to the site and so we have another launch so um i don't know how to get you guys back on the site to say sign up to be notified when it comes out or if i should just do a poll and say a poll might be easier for me to just gauge how many more people how many more of them I should order basically so yeah I think that might be what we do but anyways I'm about to go ahead now and just cut up the packing slips and stuff I know there's a machine that does this for you so that's another tip for small business owners. Just go ahead and get that machine because it'll make your life so much easier. But we're doing it the old school way over here. We don't have the thermal label printer, which we probably need to get, honestly. They're just kind of pricey. So I haven't 
But honestly, when you think about the time, it's worth it. Cause not only do we put these in like a little sleeve, we also like tape the sleeve down to the box. So it all, you know, takes time in the long run. But here we are working hard. And again, thank you everybody who makes the orders. Like a lot of love and time goes into each one of these things. Like we try to make sure that your packages get there undamaged in one piece, you know. And so we put a lot, a lot of care and time into it. Because one thing I've realized is that people, a lot of times the people who are delivering this stuff are coming into contact with it, they're not always putting the best care over the packages, you know? Luckily, we haven't had many incidents where things have ended up broken, but it has happened. So, that is one of those things it's like a bummer when someone emails and they're like oh this came in broken but we haven't had we didn't have anything broken for this from the spring launch which is really really good but we experienced it a lot during christmas i guess because we had so many ceramic items there probably was just so many things being put in the shipping world in general and you know people being a little bit more aggressive with the packages rushing to get things in time for christmas it was absolutely ridiculous um but i don't want you guys to think it was a whole bunch it probably was like four or five orders and yeah so i think if we keep doing what we're doing we can make sure that nothing gets broken guys enjoyed today's small business vlog and just coming along with me behind the scenes to see everything that goes into being a small business owner and again thank you so much fiverr for sponsoring today's video you guys please be sure to head to fiverr.co slash young lady business and see all the services that are available to you and also please be sure to use my code young lady business so you can save 10 percent off i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys What you can do, make a move The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move